Hello guys, I'm gonna show you the server management system that I was working on. It's compatible with MMO Starter Kit. So first of all, we need to configure a few things. In order to do so, we need to edit config.ini. I've opened it using Notepad++. Okay, so we have six arguments. The first one contains the map names. You should type all the map names in your project separated by a comma. The second argument contains the number of players. Uh, per server instance, I'm gonna stick with two because I want to demonstrate that system is working. The third argument contains the ports that you are going to start with. I'm gonna use 7777. The argument number four and five contains the server name and its pass. The last one contains server timeout. So let's say the server came empty for a certain reason. Maybe the player is disconnected or moved to uh, other server. It's gonna be terminated after like 30 seconds. Okay, so here you need to divide it by 1k because it's in milliseconds. Now I'm gonna launch it. You can see that two server instances launched immediately. The first one is at port 7777 and uh, loaded the map number one. Second one is at port 7778 and loaded the map number two. Okay. So in order to demonstrate that system is working well, I've created a small project here. I'm going to start, start it three times to uh, demonstrate that three players connected to our system. Okay, here is the first player. And here we have the, the second player. And this is the last one. So uh, the players will be numbered starting from zero. And the server also will be numbered starting from zero. If you press the key number one, the player will be moved to map number one. And if you press the key number two, the player will be moved to no map number two. So here we have the first two players running on the server of map number one, which is on port 7777. And it's now full because it can hold only two players. We configure it to do so. It is full. So now if we try to go to map number one by the last player, it's not going to be loaded on the same server because it's full. A new server instance <coughs> will be launched at port number 7779. It loaded the map number one and it con contains the last player. So now let's say we want to go to map number two. We can use the gates. Here we have a gate. The player moved now to the uh, server number one that's running on the port 7777, so, sorry, 7778. We can see here the server ID one that's running on 7778 contains one player now. Okay, so the server number two should be terminated after 30 seconds because because it's now empty let's try to move by the other two players to the map number two by the way the server number two is now terminated and we can see that here okay so now we have two players on the same server and it's full here we have the player uh, number two and the player number one and player number two running at the server number one. So let's try to go by the player number zero to the server number zero. Sorry, server number one. That's loading map number two. For sure, it's not gonna be allowed because the server is full. A new instance of the map number two will be launched at the port. 7779 because the port is now empty. Okay, so now this player is on a separate map. The other two players are running on the same server and can see each other. Now uh, I'm gonna mention something that this system is compatible with dungeons. So let's say you are in a group, you can go with your group to the same uh, dungeon instance. This system should be ready by the end of January or February, February hopefully, and uh, I'm gonna publish it. So, thank you for watching. See you later.